Okay, right here what we're looking at is the typical pool light in an uh, in-ground pool. This is a light fixture that goes in the in-ground pool. Typically it'll come with a 15 to 100 foot cord. In this situation, the pool light goes directly back to, once again it comes up to another junction box location, which is located over here. This one has three pipes coming into it. Next thing I'm going to show you here is the typical amount of parts and different tools that are required to GFCI protect your pool light. This is the junction box that you're seeing over there in the flower bed. Need hacksaw, pipe wrenches, pliers, wire, GFI, box, cover. So you can see there's about 25 parts and tools required to GFI protect your light. The next step we're going to go to here is the GFI box that we have developed. Basically all you need is one screwdriver. And what I'm going to show you is how the box will come apart here. Take out your G, uh, GFI box with the GFI already built into it, which is going to make it a very simple application. Um, I'm going to hold on the cover right here. I've already pre loosened these, so I'm going to come off fairly quickly. Okay, line wire is coming from the breaker switch, and this is going to be the wires that are feeding to the pool light fixture, the rubber cord you can see here from the other picture. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the in view GFCI box with the reset and test and the power lamp. Power lamps may indicate there's power at the light when the switch is on at the house location. So what this is going to basically do is going to break from the switch to the light here at the pool which is the safety feature we're looking to get here. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to attach on the green wire here at the box. Once again, just a single screwdriver. We'll put it under the screw here. And that'll be done. And then we'll move on to the line wires first. We're going to take and get the gray wire is going to go to the pool light here. The red wire, we know from the instruction sheet, that is going to go to the black pool wire here. Now the load side of the GFI has been connected. The next part we're going to do are the two line wires coming in. First we're going to hook up the white neutral wire. And then the black wire is going to go to the switch leg that comes from the switch breaker. Once you get all that, going to tuck the wires back in here. You're going to get those screws lined up and you're going to have a working GFI for your pool light. It's going to be that simple. So here's the screws are going to go right into place there. That's it. So you saw it took about one minute once I removed the cover off of this to install the GFI spa light. We've removed this cover and we've installed this cover. Once again, we didn't need to use all these parts here. About 20-25 parts. This rubber line that got connected. What will happen is a 120 volt light fixture that feeds the pool, usually 3 to 500 watts. You can get a break here on the thing, and the water will get in there. You can get it through the gasket here. Any part of this light fixture that gets water inside of it becomes a potential hazard. Um, if you go to tell your house you need a GFI on your pool light, spa light, and the last thing is just for general safety for your family and friends when they come to use your pool. That's 